Hi, I'm Chuck Norris, and this is my wife, Gina. We are here to talk about a growing concern we all share. If we look to history, our great country and freedom are under attack. We're at a tipping point, and quite possibly our country as we know it may be lost forever if we don't change the course our country is headed. With our country at a crossroads, Chuck and I have asked ourselves what we can be doing to help support this great country we're blessed to live in and how we can encourage our like-minded American brothers and sisters to unite and let their voices be heard. It is estimated that in the 2008 election, 30 million evangelical Christians stayed home on voting day and Obama won the election by 10 million votes. We know you love your family and your freedom as much as Gina and I do. And it is because of that we can no longer sit quietly or stand on the sidelines and watch our country go the way of socialism or something much worse. Our only hope is for each of us to make sure we have not only registered to vote in the primary and the general elections for 2012, but to make sure our voices will be heard by casting our vote on election day. As Edmund Burke said, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men and women do nothing. Our great president, Ronald Reagan, said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. President Reagan went on to say that you and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We will preserve for our children this last best hope for man on earth or we will sentence them to take the first step into a thousand years of darkness. If we fail, at least let our children and our children's children say of us, we justified our brief moment here. We did all that could be done. Please stand with us. Let's unite for God and country, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. See you at the polls. Thank you.